Hi, in this video we'll be celebrating by creating a Lego habitat in which we'll be dressing up, grilling meat, and exploding some fireworks. Hello, my name is TJ, and I'm on a journey to create a habitat for every single month of the year. And this video will be all about the 4th of July in July. What? But TJ, what about the June video? Oh, that. Well, I have it. I built it, actually, but... I lost the footage of me building it. You lost the footage? But, 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 but how will we ever get to see it now? Don't worry, I'm planning to reshoot it, but with my finals for school and the fact that 4th of July is so early in the month, I just needed to film this now and didn't have time to refilm the June video. No! No! The world is crumbling before our eyes! Um. Don't worry, it's it's still coming. I, I know it doesn't make sense, but it's gonna be 1st July and June after. <laughs> okay. I shall continue then. 4th of July. <laughs> Why do people celebrate it? Well, basically because it's the Independence Day for the United States. When the people split from Great Britain and became... <laughs> And there's many ways to celebrate it. By visiting historic landmarks, partying, doing a road trip, grilling meat, or scaring dogs with loud fireworks. There's so many ways to celebrate it, so plenty to choose from. But I think I'll choose to make a nice outdoor scene, where some people are grilling together, celebrating in the park while fireworks are going off in the sky behind them. Ah, oh, that should be really pretty. So I'll start with this dark green base, as this looks like grass at night. The background of this habitat will basically just be the sky, so to make this background more interesting than just being a solid blue wall, I'll use this technique they use in cartoons a lot, where they use dark blue to shape out a landscape and a lighter but still dark blue for the sky. I hope this graphic I made in paint helps. This way I can create some hill shapes here in dark blue. I'll use a bunch of plates to create a gradual slope of the hill instead of having these very hard edges. I know these are Lego blocks, but I don't want them to be too blocky, you know? When building the blue sky, I'll also add two of these snot bricks here, as this is where I'll place the fireworks later. But before letting those damn bastards explode, I'll first focus on the scene on the ground. We need some people. Can't celebrate 4th of July without them, right? The dress code for this holiday works pretty similar to St. Patrick's Day. But then instead of green, the people usually dress in red, white and blue because America! So let's find some good minifigs. There's plenty of options. I have this guy wearing dungarees, which could work as it's already white and blue, so I'll take him. But I need one more person. So let's see. Dinosaur? Mm, no. A farmer without head? Better not, right? What about a regal lady? Probably not the right moment, am I right? Two Christmassy, two Ninja, two Harry Potter. Right colors, just not human. There's just nothing! <sighs> oh, what about... I have this ice cream truck set, which looks very fun if you ask me. Okay, normally it looks more fun than this, because I didn't bother to use the stickers. So right now there's just a lot of that eternal. Emptiness. But normally it's supposed to be bright and full. See? Happiness. Darkness. Full. Empty. Bright and colorful. Plain. But anyhow, on the inside of this ice cream truck is actually the reason I brought it up in the first place. This set comes with an employee that is incidentally wearing an outfit in the exact colors that we need. We now have two minifigures, but they both just look like people doing jobs and not really celebrating. So what if we swap their heads? That already helps a little bit. But I'll also give this girl some red and blue roller skates so she can be joyfully skating around the park. And as for this guy, this is good, but I want to take it to the next level. I want him to be one of those people that goes all out. So what if he first bleached his hair blonde and then dyed it red just for the holiday spirit? Yes, that's the energy I've been looking for. These look way better now. Let's place them in the build. I'll first build a path using light and dark gray tiles and ingot pieces as they look a lot like cobblestones. I'll even make the path festive by adding some red, white and blue studs to the side of it. Ah, perfect. Now she can gleefully roller skate through this habitat. We'll even make her hold this red flag to wave around. It isn't quite the flag, but it'll do. And as for the guy, I'll just put him here. Okay, maybe we'll make him a grill or something, cause him just standing there is a 
bit weird, isn't it? I'll construct the grill using a jumper plate as the foot, on which I'll place this 1x1 cylinder brick. Now for the actual grill part, I'll start with this grey 2x2 plate, on which I'll place these modified bar handle plates, to give the grill some handles. On top of that, I'll first place this hinge piece here, to create the back of the grill, and in front of it, these two trans orange studs. This way, it looks like there's some heat in this grill, that could burn down the entire habitat. To finish it off, I'll simply place two grill plates on top, and we have a grill! Now what do we want to roast on it? I'm pretty sure I have no meats or weenies in my collection, so we gotta get creative. What about this stud, this tile, poop, chocolate, this microfig, this dino, the girl? Mm, let's not. I actually like the look of this tile, it kinda looks like a burger. And while digging around for those things, I actually found the weenie, so I'll be using that as well. Now we'll just give this man a spoon, as I don't have an actual spatula piece, and now he can grill. Then I guess all that's left is the actual fireworks. How do we do that? Hmm. <sighs> This month, actually, the new Disney castle has been released and it has some fireworks, so maybe we can take inspiration from those. It appears they use this snowflake piece, to which they just attach a bunch of cylinder bricks, studs and wands. So that's pretty simple to recreate. I'll put some white, aka transparent, cylinder bricks on the end of this blue snowflake and top it off with some transparent red studs to create this America Firework. This America thing never gets old. <laughs> it honestly looks wonderful in the build. I'll also place just a simple snowflake piece on the other side of the habitat, but next to this other one, it kinda looks like it's a firework that's in the middle of exploding, so it kinda works nicely. And with this, I actually think the habitat is done. I just wouldn't know what more to add. Now we just need to add it to the other habitats. And oh, before I do that though, let me remove the June habitat. I want that to be a little secret till I release the video and I don't want to have to blur this entire segment of the video, so bye bye and welcome to July. Ah, oh, doesn't it look perfect in there? Absolutely wonderful. If you want to see all these other habitats being made, you can find the links for them down below and if you want to stay up to date with the remaining habitats for this year and well, the June one, then please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe check out my other social media here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!